first of all, Sean, how are you feeling? How does it feel to be back at work and back in the middle of everything? Um, it feels great. Physically, I'm almost completely recovered, and uh, my speech uh, continues to improve. Um, uh, it's better than when I started in January, and it'll be better again uh, all, all through the course of, of this, this year. Personally, and from a business standpoint, had a long and very successful relationship with the technology community in Taiwan. How does it feel to be coming back and keynoting at Computex in these very interesting times when it seems like all the dynamics of the traditional PC industry and what Taiwan has been about is changing? It's an honor. Uh, I've done this keynote for years and not doing it last year killed me and the change that you've mentioned is a good thing and our t partners in Taiwan are embracing it. Are you worried that Intel will be seen as trying to resuscitate the PC at a time when the conventional wisdom says the PC is declining? Well we don't see it that way. Uh, it's clearly the PC this year is doing really well. Uh, but the PC still has room to grow, and we need to kickstart that. How do you challenge the critics who say some of this is too little too late, that, that the ARM ecosystem is too firmly established now, particularly in tablets and phones? Uh, well, the ARM ecosystem is really well established, but I don't think that anyone is in the position that Intel is in to get all the from the bottom to the top and uh, in process technology we are still you know two years or more in front um, uh, so I, I, I think it will be quite a good four or five years the company has talked a lot about accelerating the Atom SOC roadmap, which, according to some of the pundits, can't happen fast enough. Why is it taking this so long to accelerate the Atom SOCs, and is there anything you can do to make it go faster? Well, unfortunately, um, two years ago, we thought that the market was not moving as fast as it's moved. Um, now we've announced that we'll be doing one processed generation every year for the next, you know, three, four years. And uh, that's pretty fast. And um, a big acceleration from where we are now. Paul Odellini mentioned during the investor meeting that China is poised to be number one uh, in the PC market next year. What does that mean for Intel? Uh, it means everything, right? Uh, the U.S. was the first and foremost market for 43 years at Intel. Now it's going to be China number one. That's amazing. Really, I am excited about China. It's uh, the first market for Intel uh, next year. And there's so many things that we could do in China. And we are going to do them.